Hi guys, Frozenhood here. Welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to install and update the drivers for Nvidia graphics cards with some additional steps for better performance and stability to the system. This way of installing or reinstalling the drivers provides best results according to my tests with using only official NVIDIA driver installation programs. If you are new to my channel, I do a lot of gaming performance benchmarks and NVIDIA drivers benchmarks. I have tested many ways of installing the drivers including using third-party programs. And what I'm going to show you in this video is the easier, safer and still providing best results way of installing the drivers. So without further ado, let's get started. First you need to know the model of your video card. If you don't know it, you can go to the Windows search bar, type Device Manager, select and open it, select Display Adapters and you will see the model of your video card. If you see two rows in the list, you probably also have the so-called internal GPU which comes with your CPU. The one you are looking for is with NVIDIA Word in the name. Before any further steps, first I recommend you to download the driver, just in case. Once you have the video card model, go to the NVIDIA website, go to drivers section, in the search form select the model, then the operating system and press start search. You will see a list of different driver versions and you have to choose the one you want to install. Unfortunately, very often the newest driver is not the best choice for your system and for the games you usually play. On this channel you can always find up-to-date benchmarks with various games, comparing the newest driver with selected previous versions. Keep in mind that the performance is not the only factor for choosing a driver. In many cases stability is even more important and that may be specific to your video card and the games you play. Before installing the new driver, I recommend manually uninstalling the old one. Press start button, select apps and features. In the list search for Nvidia graphics driver and press uninstall. After that restart your PC. If you don't see such row or application in the list, you can continue with the next step. When Windows starts after the restart, it will probably install a default old driver. This is not a problem and you can continue with installing the new driver. There are two main ways to do that. The first way to install the driver is to do it manually, using the file you have downloaded from the NVIDIA website. Start the installation program. If you are not already using GeForce Experience, you will probably be asked if you want to install it along with the driver. In my case I already have it, so the next step is to choose, as I recommend, custom installation and clean install. Press next and the driver will be installed. When it is done, restart the system. Please keep in mind that performing a clean install may reset the settings in the NVIDIA control panel. The second way to install a new driver is using GeForce Experience if you have it installed. Go to the driver section and download the driver from there. In my case this is already done. I recommend custom installation and inside the installation program selecting the perform a clean installation setting. Then press install. After the installation restart the PC. Using GeForce Experience you can download and install only the latest driver version. There is one optional step you can do, but only in case you experience lower FPS performance, in-game stuttering, random game freezes or similar problems after the driver installation. Go to Windows Explorer, select the drive where your operating system is installed, right click and select properties. Then this cleanup. In the list make sure that only DirectX shader cache is selected. Press OK and delete files. In many cases this solves the stability problems you may encounter with the new driver. In case that doesn't help, you may need to find another way to solve the problem. Feel free to ask or search for a solution in the comments below and also share your experience with the different driver versions. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials, games and drivers benchmarks. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.